tea, hot tea, hot tea, hot tea, hot tea, hot tea. Ack, don't do it. It's a setup. Saucy Tan Saucy Santana is gonna be waiting in the cut. Now, if y'all don't know, Young Miami, Devilish Miami, has gave academics an invite to Carisha Please. It says, let's do Carisha Please, season two. At academics, I would love a sit down from my point of view. Every one point of view is very important. Now, let's keep in mind that both sides of the aisle, academics and Carisha, they have been very disrespectful to each other. And to hear all of a sudden Carisha talking like she got some sense and some manners. Oh, everybody's point of view is very important. That sounds like somebody trying to sweet talk you into a setup. But let's just be real. Carisha needs views. You did your little Diddy episode where you ain't say shit and you shit it on JT. But where's your next episode? Why aren't you working? Carisha, please, at this point, is all you got, young Miami. Why are you not working? Is it because you scared to face the truth that people don't really give a fuck about you like that? And you looking for something to bring the viewership? So what would be perfect Oh, let me have my biggest op, DJ Academics, come. And DJ Academics has agreed. He said, I'm down. But Ak ain't stupid. If he walk in there, he going to have security. And you know one more thing you going to need, Ak? Your own cameraman. Because they going to try to chop that up and make it seem like she checked you if you don't have your own version of the footage. Don't go in there. And just let her camera people have that only footage. No, you need to have another cameraman recording your angle and your point of view. So however they cut it up, you can have the true footage and add context to whatever she putting out. But hopefully, if you do bring your own cameraman, then she'll just put out the interview how it went. And it would be stupid for her to try to have Saucy Santana in the cut and then have him come out to try to check academics. Unless Ack is cool with that. And unless they talk about it, that would be some weird shit for Miami to do. To have Saucy Santana hiding and trying to get his shit off. So I feel like it would be so crazy and there's so much potential for negativity that it would bring a lot of people to watch it. Ak would bring his audience. Remember, Ak had his show, Everyday Struggle, and a big part of that audience was DJ Academics, you know, people, the chat niggas, as they like to call them, okay? So, this could be cool, but if I was Ak, I really wouldn't trust Carisha. Because you know what they say about like a wounded animal or a desperate animal. You know what I mean? You, you can never trust them. And right now, since the Diddy situation, she's desperate. Since the City Girl situation and JT doing well and Carisha getting dropped from her label, she's desperate. From all the backlash that she getting from that Carisha, please. She's desperate and you should never trust a desperate dog. Now she responded to act saying I'm down saying, hey, I don't like that. A hey. that sound like setup complete. But I will say this. This could be an opportunity for act. To kind of get rid of that narrative that. He disrespects women because if he walks in there 
and he's very respectful to her and he lets her get off her points and he intelligently gives his side of the of the situation and how he views things i think it could be in his favor see it's a win-win for act because number one a large female audience will be able to see act for kind of who he is and kind of see, you know, where he's coming from and not just see cut up clips on the shade room and shit like that. But then also, however it goes, he can still go on his platform and make money off of her by talking about her. It's just content for him. However that interview will go, he will still be able to turn it into a coin. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.